Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Today I would like to talk about how to create this weaving structure so you can design a leather bracelet in this type of a form. Are you ready? Let's get started. In the ghost view here, you can see the structure and I'm going to hide a bunch of them there. So that's just picking up what we need here. And we want to come into the invert and I'm just going to hide in rest of them. So basically you have this one and this is actually reverse of this one. We can actually make one and just rotate it to the other side or we can make both of them but what we need to do now is to calculate each of the section how big of them and then we can making a piece out of it all right so that's starting from the scratch for the bracelet we're going to starting with the circle command and we're going to snapping into the zero so the diameter i'm going to type it 60 it could be bigger or smaller but it's Okay, it's up to you. And then the second thing we wanted to do is we need to separate them into the little section. So come back to the top view. I'm going to use a command called divide and I'm going to divide it into few sections. So that's that we want to get a 20 section right here and then you will get those dot there and look like 20 is not enough. So I'm gonna go back and do the divide it one more time. And this time let's do double for the section 40 of them and that's what we get there all right so we basically just need one section um, uh, there with the three dot so let's go ahead to use the split command this curve it's going to be split by those three and then so we got two short curves right there rest of them we don't need it so let's go ahead to delete them with all the dot right there Okay, so now we have this curve here. Uh, what we can do is we can make them into the surface first. So let's go ahead to extrude them. You can use the gumball, just drag in this dot and to make them a bit taller or whatever, how tall you want them to be. And that will be two surface right there. Now, if you hit rebuild or type a rebuild, you're going to see it's currently is U and V in the degree is two and one. We want to make sure it's three by three. All right. So the U count, we're going to state something as simple as possible. So that's stating with four. The V count, we need a bit more there. So we might need to have eight. All right. So that look OK. Let's go ahead to click OK. All right. The same thing we're going to do on the other side. Just click OK there. All right. So let me go ahead to lock this one. And with this one, let's go ahead to turn on the control point. And then the one in the middle, like those four, I'm going to move in out a little bit and pick up the middle one. It's going to move it out a little bit. Right. So you got what I have. I intentionally don't want to touch it way too close to the edges because that might change in the distance right there. All right. And also for this one, I actually want them to coming out a little bit like this. All right. So then you can see it coming out curve on the side view and the front view is also curving out like that as well. All right, let's go ahead to unlock this one and we want to do the same thing. Let's go to turn on the control point and with those top four right there, I'm going to moving in a little bit. And then with this two right here, I'm going to moving out a little bit and also moving to the back a little bit. All right, so that way this allow uh, some piece can go in between. All right, so now we have those and they look into the right angle. Let's go ahead to make them into the solid. Pick up those two right here. We are going to use the solid under the solid. You have extruded surface, right? Now it may not be the right direction depends on what you were working on. So we want to make sure it's in the right direction. Let's go ahead to pick up the direction right here and snapping from this point. We want to holding the shift and click on the second point right there. So I wanted the thickness to be point it make sure solid equal yes hit enter and then we'll get two piece right there all right so the rest of it it will be quite simple let's go ahead to make sure they are going back to the circle we're going to pick up both poly surface right here and right here and then we are going to use the polar array 
snapping into the zero right here and it was 40 pieces but now we have two pieces as a set so let's type it 20 and then we'll get something like this and of course you can have a top and bottom extending a little bit more put another piece right in the middle then you will get something look like this i hope you enjoyed the video i have a lot more tricks and tips i would like to share with you join the membership program then you will see a lot more of my secret on 3d modeling at the same time support a little youtuber like me thank you for watching and i'll see you next